Well, earlier I spoke to Patrick O'Flynn, formerly Nigel Farage's media spokesman and now one of three newly elected UKIP MEPs for the East of England. I began by asking him whether UKIP was in danger of becoming part of the political establishment now. Oh, Cathy, I don't think so. I don't think Channel 4 News regards us as the, uh, the establishment. Uh, um, I think uh, we, we are a bit different and uh, you regard us as being a bit different and that's fine. Uh, I really don't think... How different are you, though? Well, I mean, look... When you look at Nigel Farage, for example, I mean, there he is. He's stood for Parliament five times. He's educated at a public school, not that dissimilar from the public schools that David Cameron and Nick Clegg were educated at. Yeah, well, look, I, uh, Nigel doesn't pretend to be anything he's not, so... Uh, you wouldn't well, he, think that he Nigel does in went, a way, went, though, doesn't listen. he? Because he goes down the, <laughs> he down the pub, he stands there with his pint, he forgets about the Dulwich College bit and, and, and the fact that he stood well, for Parliament five times. Uh, I don't think going to Dulwich College disqualifies you from uh, enjoying a pint and a cigarette uh, outside your local. Uh, Nigel uh, has a very different background from David Cameron or Osborne in the sense that, uh, yes, he went to public school, but then he uh, left school, he didn't go to university, he went into the metals exchange uh, and worked with people from all sorts of different social backgrounds and got on with them. And I think you can see he has a natural affinity uh, with people from all sorts of social backgrounds, which uh, some of those establishment politicians, Cathy, just don't have. If all goes according to plan, in the next election you end up holding the balance of power, as has been discussed today, who would you feel able to work with in terms of the other big parties? Well, I don't think we uh, envisage that we'd be going Clegg-like into coalition and throwing all our values uh, over the side of the boat. What we will be doing is working to guarantee that the British people finally get the referendum on Europe that they've been promised so many times by these other parties. I've heard UKIP people say all day today that you're now representing the whole country, uh, but it's not quite true, is it? Because you've got London, you've got Manchester, Liverpool, Oxford, Cambridge, who resisted your charms. Why do you think that was? Well, look, some of those big cities are very strong Labour areas, aren't they? And Labour's done well in all the places you've mentioned, and particularly, I suppose, the focus will be on London. All I would say is that we got, I think, about 16 or 17 percent of the European vote in London, which is no mean feat uh, coming from as far back as we were. Our party organisation isn't as advanced in London, uh, and there's something different about London, isn't there? London has, uh, you know, it is this, this mega global city. It has a much younger population. Uh, it has a sort of population of people who, in general, on average, uh, take a different view about mass uncontrolled immigration uh, to people in much of the rest of the country. Well, uh, I think uh, we can, it, it's we are. multicultural in short. No, well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just typify that as, as multi cultural and I wouldn't say that that UKIP is against diversity I think all of us uh, choose our favorite place on the spectrum and I think Where are if you're you on that spectrum? younger maybe well I, I actually I enjoy quite a bit of diversity myself and uh, you know living in London I enjoy the facilities of London but what I I do also think is when people get to the, the age as parents and trying to find primary school places and worrying about bringing their children up in a stable and safe environment then some of those uh, those upsides of, uh, of that huge global city and all the choices uh, there are uh, you can also see some of the downsides too would you throw in your lot and stand as an MP at the next election? If so, where? I think uh, my best contribution may be uh, at the centre of the campaign, if people judge that that one way or another with a few slips along the way we've run quite a good campaign this time. Uh, but if um, uh, a UKIP branch in the east of England, where I, I, I represent now, uh, was to invite me and say they think I could make a difference, then I'd be honoured to do so.